Hey guys, so today I'm at the Cloth Hall at the main market square of Krakow in Poland. The Cloth Hall is a 14th century building and it's a marketplace where in the past, many, many years ago, people came from all over the world to trade products from their home countries here. So it's quite fascinating that you could find products here from all over the world. It's a fantastic place for shopping. And on the right side and the left side, you see the shields from all the different Polish cities. So when you come inside, just look up above you, look above the stalls, and you'll see all the different shields displaying all the Polish cities. Um, you've got different ones there, like Koszalin in the center there, which is close to Gdansk on the right side. Um, Kolobsreg, that is also close to Gdansk as well, on the North Sea, on the Baltic Sea side of Poland. And let's have a look on the left side. You've got Gdynia, which is near to Sopot and Gdansk, and Elblag, where you have the most beautiful white sandy beaches on the north coast of Poland. It's really, really beautiful. But as you walk through this hall, you'll see all of those shields from all different places, and you will see all of these different stalls selling all different lovely items. Like my mum loves coming to this market square when she comes to Krakow, she buys all kinds of different things. Um, look at all of these necklaces, these lovely colored neck necklaces here on the wall. Um, all the different colors you can buy as well. And it's really busy because it's the 29th of December and um, all the tourists are here right now. This is like the peak season here in Krakow. This is when the hotels charge the highest price of the whole year. It's the busiest time of the whole year here in Krakow. You can buy all kinds of different jewelry here as well. And Poland is famous for amber. So when you come here, you must buy some amber as a gift for your family. Um, you get a very, very good deal on amber here, much lower than in the UK, and you get much better quality as well. And you can see all the, um, all the necklaces there on the wall that this lady's selling here. Let me just show you. So if you like shopping, I'm sure you'll like it here at the market. And you find every single day, this market is full of people. There's all the guided tours, like the one in the middle that are going through the main market square. But when you're in here, you must be careful with pickpockets and thieves because it's full of thieves. I've seen them walking around. I live here in Krakow and there's just thieves everywhere in this market. So you must be very, very careful with your pockets. Watch your right and your left all the time and be very, very careful. So here you can buy these traditional costumes. They look really, really lovely. Um, these are traditional Polish folk costumes. Um, lovely presents for the children, for example, um, if you're buying for your grandchildren or your children when you're away on holiday, then they would be a really lovely gift. And there's more jewelry down here as well. There's stores here selling things also for children on the right side. Really difficult to make the tour today because it's so busy. There's so many people here, so it's kind of hard. But let's try. And this stall is all wooden items. So they're homemade wooden items. You can buy all kinds of different things and things here also for the children as well. Um, let's get closer on these wooden ones. So the carpentry is very, very good here in Poland. You can buy some really nice items. And of course, all the necklaces there as well. There's all the toys there for the children. So let's carry on. Uh, they've got the Polish football team t-shirt there with Lewandowski. Lewandowski is the star player from Poland. He's the guy, he's one of the highest goal scorers in Europe and he's playing for Barcelona right now. And you can buy a Lewandowski t-shirt there maybe for the children or for a present to take home. You can buy all of your typical souvenirs like hats with Poland on, um, all the scarves with Polska, which Polska means Poland. And when you say thank you, you say dziękuję. To say hello, you say Czech. And you can see all of this jewelry on here as well. Just to give you an idea of what you can buy really from these stalls. And there's lots of options. Um, I like the teapots. I always buy my mum a teapot for Christmas and um, you can buy some nice teapots here as well. So um, I've got a number of different items from here. Um, if you look at the back here, she's got all nice plates and cutlery and things for the house as well.
And here in these cabinets, they have all different types of jewelry. Let's just have a look inside. They've got some quite unique items really that you might not be able to buy in the normal shops, in the shopping centers here, in the commercial stores. So these are all like necklaces for women and everything here as well. More souvenirs there on the left side. You can get all the t-shirts with Krakow on and everything like that. Um, it's actually taken about 7.30 at night and this is still open. So uh, most days it closes about eight o'clock at night and it opens in the morning about nine o'clock in the morning. So you just come to the main market square and this is in the center of the main market square. And there's more necklaces there and jewelry. Let me just show you. And it's just full of people. Look at all the people here. There's so many people from so many different countries. The majority of tourists here in Krakow are British and the second most popular nationality for tourism here is Spanish. Um, there's a lot of people here from uh, Ukraine as well. Uh, some German tourists come here. Some people come here from neighboring countries like Czech Republic. Um, we're only one and a half hours drive from the Czech Republic here and we can get to the Ukrainian border here in about two and a half or three hours to the crossing point at Medica. So here in Krakow, you meet people from all over the world. It's a multinational city and it gets up to, uh, well, almost 20 million tourists a year come here to Krakow. It's incredible how many tourists you see walking around every single day here. Um, look at these special rugs that you can buy for the house. Let me have a look. They're 220 zloty, which is um, about 44 pounds. They are really, really nice. They'd be lovely for your house, for your living room. Just have a look at them close up. And then let's have a look at all of these unusual hats that you can buy here too. Really nice hats and very unusual designs. You, you can't really buy those in the shops in England. You can only buy them here in Poland. Um, it's nice to buy something here that's quite unique, you know, from Poland. And um, let's just have a look at the ladies' hats here too. There's all kinds of different hats that he's got on offer here. And it's really nice because he's got the price labeled on it so you can just see exactly what it costs for a hat. So how much is one hat made for the ladies? Which one? Um, the pink one there in the middle. That one? Yeah. 520. 520, yeah. Yeah, so it's 520 zloty um, for one of the ladies' hats here. Um, so 520 zloty is just over 100 pounds for a hat. Um, this next one's got all the different wooden items. Let's just get in close and have a look at these. Some nice ornaments there for your house as well to take home. So the ornaments just straight ahead, the orange one, for example, just there is 68 zloty. So that's about 14 pounds for one of those ornaments here. And there's some ones here, some little ones, these little wooden ones, they're 40 zloty, uh, which is eight pounds. And just let, just to let you know, um, five zloty is one pound, more or less. I mean, it goes up and down every day, but more or less five zloty is about one pound and four zloty is about one euro. So you just have an idea of the, um, the prices here. But of course it's a market, so you can negotiate as well. When you go to these stalls, you see a price label, but you can negotiate those prices. So you can make them an offer and they will um, negotiate with you and you might get yourself a small discount as well. Um, so we have here, um, there's some really nice religious pictures on the wall. Um, Poland is a Catholic country. It's one of the main Catholic countries of Europe. Um, people are very religious here in Poland. People go to church every Sunday and all the shops here in Poland are closed on a Sunday. So this is some religious things if you've come here for a religious holiday. Maybe you've come here to see Wadowice and see the home of the Pope and the church of the Pope and that type of thing. So there's a lot of um, religious tourism here as well. Um, I organize day trips to um, outfits, to the salt mines, to Zakopane, to the shooting range and excursions. Um, if you need more information, I can get you a very good price on the excursions and I'm British and I can organize excursions for you. Um, just contact me on comments and I'll send you my phone number and you can, um, I can organize for you if you want. Um, yeah, she's got some lovely necklaces here on the left side as well. Uh, this lady here, let's have a look. There's so many nice things that you can buy here. It's definitely worth a visit when you come. 
especially jewelry though. There's so many different jewelry items here. And look at the lovely chandeliers in the ceiling as well. Um, and you can see my other guided tours if you subscribe to my YouTube channel at Travel with Col, and that's Col with a C-O-L. And you see all of my guided tours from the most beautiful cities in Poland um, with my tips and my recommendations. I've just been in Warsaw, but I've got guided tours from all the Polish cities on my channel too. Um, these are the boxes I buy for my mum every Christmas. Um, I've got, she's got lots and lots of these boxes here uh, at home in Liverpool. Um, got a number, they're brilliant for storing your jewelry and your things in your bedroom. So let's have a look. How much are the boxes, sorry, Annie? It's 100, 120, 140 and 160. Yeah, 120, yeah. 120 zloty is about 22 pounds. Um, so that's what it costs and they're handmade boxes from the local area. They have all different kinds of colors and all different special designs. If you look up there as well. Uh, they're probably the best thing that you can buy here actually at the market, these boxes. Um, and you have those nice spoons ahead as well in the center. Let's get close on these boxes. But you've got the small mini boxes here as well. They look really nice. Oh, and they've got Krakow on these boxes too. Let's just have a look closer. And how much are these boxes? 60. 60 zloty, yeah. So these are 12 pounds, which is 60 zloty. Um, maybe it'd be a nice gift that for your family. And there's the more shields up above. Yaroslav, that's close by to Zeshov. I'm going to Zeshov tomorrow to celebrate New Year. Oh, there's the flag of Zeshov, one of my favorite Polish cities. Zeshov is a lovely city. Um, I'm going there tomorrow to celebrate New Year. I'll be there for three nights. Um, you've got Shamesh, that's also in the east side of Poland. Um, just a bit further on from Zeshov, just close to the Ukrainian border. Swing the camera around. So the weather today was surprisingly warm. It was about four or five degrees. Um, very often in the winter here, the weather's like so cold. It could be minus two, minus four, minus six degrees. So bring appropriate clothing with you. If you're going to outfits and things, you must bring a very warm hat. You must bring very warm gloves as well and things like that. You must wrap up very warm when you're here coming to Poland. And you must bring cash with you as well because these stalls, some of these stalls prefer cash. So do bring cash with you to Poland and then you can buy things from the markets. I know some pubs here where you can only pay cash, for example. So I'd always bring cash with you as well. So this is what the lady's selling here, all this nice jewelry. really nice to get an idea of what you can buy here before you come really and you just don't know what to expect when you're coming on holiday so to get here you fly into Krakow Balice airport which is 30 minutes drive from here uh, the cheapest way to get here is actually by a taxi application called uber taxi or bolt taxi there's another taxi application called free now but the taxis that are parked there at the airport would be really expensive, like maybe 250 zloty, which is 50 pounds. And if you get a taxi by the application Uber or Bolt Taxi, you'll get a massive discount, more than 50% discount compared to those taxis that I'm talking about. More religious pictures here on the right side and this is coming to the end of the corridor here now as well so guys um, thank you very much for watching my guided tour today and to see my other tours please subscribe to my channel at travel with col and that's col with a c-o-l and you'll see my guided tours from all the different Polish cities and if you don't mind please give me some likes as well and if you can give me some comments of things to see and do and some comments about Poland in general that would be brilliant and thank you very much for watching my guided tour today guys have a nice new year. Cheers. Thank you. Bye-bye.